Hi Ultimate Gardeners, welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening channel. I'm Emani and I say the Ultimate Gardener. My goal is to help you guys grow in the gardening industry and help you guys become an Ultimate Gardener. So in today's exciting spreading video, we'll be revamping aka renewing the front of our house. So I don't know if you've been subscribed to me for a pretty long time. Time. you might have seen uh, multiple times I've been renewing the front of our house at one point I did like a sweet potato vine with like purple coleus and it was the most gorgeous thing ever but today we're gonna be doing something a bit more simple but a bit more different always in the past few years my dad has been designing the front of our house and always he has been putting different colors of impatience and at one point i had to switch it up a bit because too much impatience could be a little too much so i'm gonna switch it up a bit last season i decided to put like multiple different varieties of plant but all in the same color scheme white and pink but this year i'm planning or this spring season i'm planning to do petunias your petunias and you might have guessed it for my new petunia line that's going to be coming out when the when the ultimate plant company opens and we have two varieties for you guys to showcase uh for when we're going to be planting in front and when we get to those plants i'll be telling you a few details on them their names and what how vigorous or if vigorous they are and i could tell it's going to be a pretty good combination in the front of the house so let's jump right into this video so guys when designing a area you always have to have three things when designing your area a thriller a filler and a spiller multiple gardeners have taught you guys that the thriller is usually the tall structure the filler usually is the structure that fills everything up for there's no dirt showing and the spiller usually is the one that spills over and looks like a waterfall of flowers but i'm doing it a bit different this spring season because there's a lot of things going on and i just want to have that cool tone that really uh will say simply or simple look to the garden in front because every year we have these pops of colors and i want to tone it down this year um so it could be bright and colorful but yet cool and simple so that's what we're gonna go to we're gonna do today and um, this spring season we're not gonna have a filler well petunias are sort of considered a filler and a spiller but we will not have a main structure which is surprising to me because i usually go all out but now like i'm um getting a bit more in the garden industry now i'm learning what i like and what i don't like and i love simple things so we're gonna go with two different varieties of petunias you guys and these petunias will be launching with the uh company um the line of the ultimate petunias there's gonna be so many you guys you guys are gonna be going crazy so let me go ahead and show you sorry about the mess we're doing a little my dad's gonna go ahead and turn this into a raised bed for his vegetables um but right here these are the ultimate petunias you guys from my camera point of view these look a little bit blue but they're not blue they're a really deep purple and you can see the vibrant right white so right here this is called the snow blanket ultimate petunia you guys like look at that flower the flower structure and the leaf structure is so amazing and over here i don't know it's because of the lighting maybe uh this is the the royal carpet ultimate petunia look at how sweet these blooms are you guys i think there you can see the dark purple and the leaf structure is amazing too so that's the two combination we'll be using today in the front area so let's go ahead and move on to the front area so guys we're in the front area and of course we have to you know tone it down a bit for the raised beds but there is a pop of color in the containers because we do have as you can see two urns right here so we have beautiful daisies in here which are a bright pop of red color you guys so with the cool tones and we will have a little nice pop of color so these will be the show stoppers um but here are the area you guys you can see how there's different structures and different things here so we have right here we have another daisy we have a berry smoothie kukura from the growing colors company we have a portulaca we have a pentis 
the purple coleus and another hookra. All of this will be wiped out except this one right here. This is an allium of some sort. Now we're going to keep that there as our main structure. And then the rest of it will be filled with these colorful petunias. The, also, the thing will be also duplicated here. And I'll be sort of excited to see the difference because this has a lot of sunlight in the afternoon. And this has shade in the afternoon and a bit of sunlight in the morning so we're gonna see how the petunias perform on each side but i will be putting a bit of um uh, plant tone right here of espoma so that's what i usually use or usually it's recommended to use biotone but here in florida it's really hard to find that so let me go ahead and bring the plants over and remove all the plants and then when we get to the planting part and the designing part that's when i'll get back to you guys So guys, the removal of the old plants is already done. And if you guys are wondering if some of these plants will be thrown out, if they'll be kept, most of these plants like the portulaca, the pantis, uh, the coleus, and the hookahs, most of those plants will be kept uh, because they still look pretty good. Um, but some will be thrown out because one coleus was wilted. Some hookahs were like starting to turn brown and not looking so good. Um, but that's what's been going on. And plus, these plants are great performers here in FL. But now it's time to design the area, you guys. So I have, excuse for the dead plant gardeners, do, um, you know, kill a few plants. And then I have a amaryllis that's been blooming here, but need to trim that off. But I have in total 12 plants in here, you guys. So we're going to have to put six plants in here and six plants in here because you guys saw this huge structure of the allium here and yes we do have that here as well but the plant is very small so yeah so let me go ahead and get to designing So guys, the design is set right here. The ultimate uh, royal carpet petunias. So guys, the design is set as you guys could see here. The royal carpet ultimate petunias were put in the front row and the snow blanket petunia ultimate petunias were put in the back row sort of as a zigzag to place as you guys could see right there. And I think that would be a great structure waiting for those to bloom next year. And the same thing was copied on this side. These uh, raised beds are a bit difficult to design because one is small and the other one is big. But usually I just design them if this one was equal to this one. And they look pretty fine. So I'm expecting these to grow big and viney. So hi guys. And perform pretty great right here. So yeah, so let's get to planting.
so that is it for this video you guys thank you all so much for uh, showing your amazing support towards this channel we are getting really close to 1,000 subscribers you got subscribers you guys and I am speechless because never would I thought I would get to this point but with the help of multiple gardeners out there and the help of you guys we made it to this far and once again the ultimate plan company will be opening up once we hit 1,000 subscribers so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to support my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when a new exciting spreading video comes out, just like this one, make sure to hit that bell notification button so you get notified when a new exciting spreading video comes out. I just wanted to notice to you guys that I do have my very own donate button. Uh, this donate button is open to anybody who wants to donate any type of amount of money to help this channel grow because with the help of you guys i am able to make multiple videos so if you guys want to donate any amount of money towards me to help the company and help the channel out you can feel free to do so but if you don't want to that's totally up to you there's a link towards the donation button down below in the description box below so if you want to support you can if not that's completely fine so thank you guys so much for watching this video grow big ultimate gardeners bye guys